Mr. Green? Yes. Uh, please sit down. Haven't we met before? Yes. I think our children go to the same school. Ah, uh, yes, of course. That's right. Cunning and comprehensive. Now, what can I do for you? Well, I have one or two questions about, uh, about my job. Hello. Haven't we met before? You remember me? I'm Francis Matthews. What's your name? Where do you live? Where did you go to school? Today's program will tell you how to ask and answer those questions. For example, when you talk to someone about a new job. Good morning. Ah, oh, good. Come in, come in. Please, sit down. Thanks. Good morning, Miss Miller. Linda Miller. Ah, yes, Linda Miller. I'm Janet Baker, and this is... Mr. Jones. I'm Mr. Jones. Hello. All right, Linda. Tell us something about yourself, please. Well, my name is Linda Miller. I'm 23 years old, and I live at 39 Hilltop Avenue, Surbiton. My telephone number is 3980761. Very good. I'm single, and I live in a flat with two other girls. I went to Berrywood School, then I did a course to become a secretary. Very good. Very good indeed. You went to Berrywood School until... Until 1975. I was there from 1968 to 1975. Ah, yes. And what exams did you take, Linda? Six O levels and two A levels. English and geography at A level. Two advanced levels. That's wonderful. I see. And then the course for secretaries. Yes. And I've been a secretary for four years. I used to work for Johnson Brothers. I'm working for Wilson's at the moment. Very good. Wonderful. Yes, I thought you'd say that. Mm. All right then, Linda. Welcome to the company. You'll have to take a course for six months. The next course is beginning in a month's time. You can start then. Oh, thank you. That's wonderful. We'll meet again, Linda. I'm helping with the course. Good. Good. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Linda. A wonderful girl. Very good indeed. Yes, so you said. Oh, did I? Oh, excuse me. Uncle David, I forgot to tell you. Mum said that she's expecting you and Aunt Betty for lunch on Sunday. Okay? Uh, uh, yes, uh, thanks, Miss... Um, uh, thanks, Linda. Bye. Uncle David... Really? Yes, yes, but she is a nice girl and she'll be a good shop manager. Of course. Very good. Wonderful. I've been a secretary for four years. I used to work for Johnson Brothers. You're an engineer, Mr. Green? Yes, that's right. I've been an electrical engineer for four years. And where are you working now? Well, I'm working for Robinson's at the moment. Uh, you used to work for Johnson Brothers? Yes, that's right. Now, tell me, do you speak French or German? Well, I I'm learning French. Ah, good. Because there's a very good job here which requires a minimal knowledge of French.
Hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? We're inside a police station. These policemen and police women are getting their instructions for the day. And this is PC Bill Russell, a British bobby. PC. That means police constable. In other words, an ordinary policeman. There are also police women in this police station. Another vehicle stolen from Dover during the night. It's a Ford Cortina. Alpha Juliet Mike, 173 Mike. Colour green. PC Russell has been a policeman for five years. Cases in the back carrying clothing. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I've had my car stolen. When did you have it stolen, sir? Well, I left it about 10 o'clock this morning and went for it, went back for it just now about half past four and it was gone. Well, where did you park it? On the seafront opposite uh, the Majestic Hotel. Today, P.C. Russell is on desk Just duty. Take a report from his that means he has to help people who come into the police station. They have all sorts of problems. And your first name is Mr. Easton? Brian. And your address? Uh, 16, Highfield Close. What's your age, Mr. Easton? Uh, 45. And your occupation? I'm a civil servant. He's also busy answering the telephone. What's your name, sir? What's your first name? There's always something happening in the police station. And your address? What's your telephone number? Yeah, it's up. Whereabouts did you lose the article, Mr. Wilson? At what time was that? Was that yesterday? Yeah. And what exactly is the article? That's a black jacket and it's a gents. Okay, Mr. Wilson? If you'd like to check again with us in a few days, um, it may have been handed in between now and then. Otherwise, we'll contact you should it be handed in. Hello, it's me, Linda. Come in, dear. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, dear. How are you? How's the new job? Oh, it's very interesting. In fact, I've had a very good week. I've got a new job and a new boyfriend. Oh? Yes, his name's John. He came over to me on the first day and said, Haven't we met before? <laughs> Funny. Someone said that to me the other day. Really? Yes, at the club. Last Tuesday it was, at the old people's club. Bye, Mabel. See you next week. Hello. Hello. Haven't we met before somewhere? I don't know. Have we? I'm Harry Roberts. I used to live in Kingston, in Summer Road. The house on the corner. Kingston? I used to live there. I knew it. But that was 50 years ago. <sighs> you knew me then? Yes. But your name wasn't Miller. It was Johnson. Yes. I was Ethel Johnson. You haven't changed much. <laughs> what? In 50 years? I knew it was you. Wait a minute. Harry Roberts. Of course. You gave me some flowers one day. That's right. But you already had a boyfriend. That was Tom. 
We got married in 1934. But I'm a widow now. Of course, I've got two sons and a daughter, all married, and six grandchildren. Ethel Johnson. After all these years... Years aren't important, Harry. We're as young as we want to be. I enjoy life. Do you go to any classes? Classes? Yes. I'm learning French. It's always a good idea to start something new, Harry. It's always a good idea to start something new. That's what I told him, Linda. Quite right, Gran. And he agreed. So he's going to come to the French classes too. So we're all starting something new. That's right. I must go, I'm afraid. Thanks for the tea. All right, dear. Bye. Bye. See you next week. See you next week. I'm learning French. I must go, I'm afraid. See you next week. And now it's time to remind you of what we learned today. I've been a secretary for four years. I used to work for Johnson Brothers. I'm learning French. I must go, I'm afraid. See you next week. See you next week. I'm going to another class now. Every Thursday. Oh? I'm learning to dance. Good for you, Harry. Come on. I'll show you.